Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting session on install TensorFlow. So deep learning is one of the hottest topic of 2019 and 20 and for a good reason. Now the advancements in this industry has made it possible for the machines or the computer programs to actually replace the human beings. Can you believe that? And artificial intelligence is going to create 2.3 million jobs by 2020. And a lot of this is being made possible by TensorFlow which can be considered as the big daddy of deep learning frameworks. So in this session, first of all, I'll give you a brief about what exactly is TensorFlow. We'll understand how TensorFlow has helped a lot of companies build world-class models and solve real-life problems. And finally, we'll cut through the chase and I'll explain you guys how to install TensorFlow step by step. So TensorFlow is Google's open source machine learning framework for data flow programming across a range of tasks. Now if we talk about data flow, there are nodes and graphs involved. So nodes in the graph represent mathematical operations, while the graph edges represent the multidimensional data arrays communicating between them. Now these multidimensional arrays in terms of deep learning are known as tensors, and it is an extension of 2D table to a data with a higher dimension. Now, there are many features of TensorFlow which makes it appropriate for deep learning. And the core open source library helps you develop and train machine learning models. Now TensorFlow has helped a lot of companies build world class models to solve real life problems. So for example, if we take Airbnb, Airbnb improves their guest experience by using TensorFlow to classify images and detect objects at a scale. And if you talk about Coca-Cola, so the advancements in the artificial intelligence and the maturity of TensorFlow enabled Coca-Cola to finally achieve a long sought frictionless proof of purchase. And TensorFlow has made a lot of advancements in the healthcare industries as well. So GE, which is GE Healthcare. So using TensorFlow, GE Healthcare is training a neural network to identify specific anatomy during the brain magnetic resonance imaging which is the mri exams to help improve the speed and reliability and if we talk about social media twitter used tensorflow to build their ranked timeline allowing users to ensure that they do not miss their most important tweets even if they follow thousands of users so guys uh, this was all about tensorflow and the various applications so there are three steps or three prerequisites before we install TensorFlow. So the first one, if you go to the page of TensorFlow and click on the install, as you can see here, uh, we have the system requirements. So let's go to the pip installation page. And here you can see in system requirements, we have Ubuntu 16.4 or later. We have Mac OS 10.2, which is 64 bit again. Then we have Windows 7, for Windows and Raspbian 9.0 or later for Raspberry Pi. Now I'm not gonna go into the details of the GPU support because if I click on the GPU support guide, it requires you to have CUDA enabled GPU as well as it requires you to have a TensorFlow Docker image with GPU support. All you need to do is provide the command pip install TensorFlow hyphen GPU. So as you can see here, it requires a TensorFlow Docker image with GPU support that is only for Linux and it also requires an NVIDIA GPU. So first of all, the first and the foremost step is to get Python. So under Python, as you can see here, I'm going to take the version 3.7.3 and I'm going to use the executable installer. I've already downloaded it. Let me run it for you. So all you need to do is select the add Python and add Python to the path and just click on the install now because this is a very important step. So guys, it's going to take around uh, three to four minutes to initialize and get the installation done. So after that, what you need to do is install pip. So but what happens is that in Python 3.5 and above versions, pip is already there. So you do not need to install it separately and the next thing what you need to do is get the virtual environment, which is the virtual ENV. So for that, what you need to do is just use the command pip install virtual ENV and the virtual environment will be done. Let me check up on the setup progress. I think it's almost done. 50% of it is done. 
So it takes uh, about two to three minutes for this to install. Now, if uh, in the meantime, if we go back to the TensorFlow homepage and have a look at why exactly we need TensorFlow. So here you can see that it is good for easy model building. It is it has robust machine learning production anywhere and powerful experimentation for research. So as you can see here, it uses high level APIs like Keras with eager execution, which makes immediate model iteration and easy debugging. So a lot of you might know that TensorFlow has come up with a version 2.0 alpha. So that one has eager execution by default and it uses the high level API Keras extensively. And you can easily train and deploy models in the cloud or any premises or in the browser or any device for a matter of fact with the language you feel safe to use. So as you can see here, our setup is successful. So let me close this. So next what I'm gonna do is just open CMD and just type in Python to check my version. So as you can see, it's 3.7.3, which we downloaded. So uh, next I'll check my pip version, which is, uh, as you can see here, it's pip 19.0.3. So the pip version is correct and next what I have to do is install the virtual environment so for that what you need to do is pip install virtual env so pip install hyphen let me just check back uh, what exactly the code was so it was okay so it's hyphen hyphen user virtual env so as you can see it's collecting the virtual environment and downloading the required files so once this is done, all you need to do is uh, let's go down and check. All you need to do is just pip install upgrade TensorFlow. This is the final code what you need to run because you do not need to upgrade the pip because it's the latest version which comes. So, so the moment you hit pip install hyphen upgrade TensorFlow, it's collecting TensorFlow and it's downloading everything. So uh, this will take a while to download. So there are a lot of stuff happening and as you can see, initially it's just downloading a 63 MB file, but later you will realize that it's downloading much more than that. It's downloading the tensor board, it's installing the protocol buffer and a lot of these stuff. So, so as you can see, it has downloaded a lot of stuff. So the installation might take a while. So once the installation is done, you'll see a successful message. So guys, as you can see, it's successfully installed. After that, all you need to do is go into the Python shell and just import TensorFlow and begin with your coding. So what I'm going to do is just enter Python into the shell. I'm going to import TensorFlow. So as you can see, it's a success. So guys, this is how you install TensorFlow and work on deep learning. So guys, I hope this session was useful and you got to know about TensorFlow, what exactly it is and how it is helping companies to build machine learning models and deep learning models. And what are the steps involved in installing TensorFlow? So guys, if you have any queries regarding this session, please feel free to mention it in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!